are you ever trying to straighten your legs when you're doing leg lifts and you've always got this bend or when you're doing splits you feel like you could never get this knee crease flat it's very common so I want to give you some tips on how to be able to create a more strong quadricep to be able to make sure those lines are a little bit more towards what you were looking for now also, when you're stretching, are you ever feeling like your calf is impinging your flexibility and you go into a hamstring stretch like this and you feel like there's this need to kind of move your leg around or you have sciatica and you struggle to get into the depth of the hamstring? Well, I'm going to show you a little tip to create a little less nerve tension that you can get deeper into your splits because sometimes it's not our flexibility, it's our nerve tension. And do you ever feel like your hamstrings are going to tear when you bend over like this or you go into a split and you feel like you can't get down because there's this pull in your hamstring? Well, I've got a solution for you there too. So let's start. I'm going to start with let's have a look at how we can work on the quadricep strength to be able to straighten our legs. All right, so two blocks is all you're gonna need. It's amazing to think that it's so simple. You're gonna place it above your knee crease. Once you've got it above your knee crease, you need to make sure you're sitting up tall, ribs are in, shoulders are back. From there, you're going to then Place your hands to support you, or you can have a wall behind you. Lift, squeeze again, and release. Lift, squeeze again, and release. Do 10 sets. You're gonna notice over time that you're gonna find a big difference in your legs being straighter, more active, and quad stronger in flexibility. Again, make sure when you're doing the lift that you're not leaning back, you're not poking out your tummy, you have got a little bit of a tilt back in your hip, but your ribs are in, your chest is open, you're up tall. And when you lift, make sure you're not doing this or this. Make sure you're really lifting so your legs are parallel. You can flex, point, half between, whatever you like. You're squeezing here, then see how I squeeze one more time. I can feel a super burn, burn baby burn. So this is your first exercise if you are looking to get a straighter leg line. Are you doing those hamstring stretches and you can't get your tailbone up to the sky? It's often rounded and you're often feeling like you have to wiggle it just a little bit because you are finding that you've got this tension running down perhaps one of your legs. Often it can be nerve tension. To take the nerve tension off, what we can do is place our front foot onto a block. When you point your toes, it creates less nerve tension. When you flex, it can often be impinging to those that do have nerve tension, like myself. I need a block. So I put my front foot on a block. I then make sure that my body is over the front leg and I then point, or on the tops of the foot, the back leg. I hold here. I then push my tailbone up to the sky, push my front leg back, activate my quadriceps and then I start to lean in towards the ground, not towards the leg, in towards the ground and I keep doing that action of active quads, tailbone up, core in and scissor. So try it, it's going to make a huge difference. Front leg, yeah, then back leg, the higher you put the back leg heel, the more active it's going to be. Make sure you're not too far forward, not too far back. You are right on top of the leg. From there, these are the little key points. Tailbone up, push the front leg back, active quads, and then sink towards the ground. Give it a try and let me know if it helps you with your nerve sensations and helps you get deeper. So, are you one of those people like me that often gets this kind of odd tension here in the back of the leg? And you go into the splits and you feel like you have to wiggle around a little bit and you have to pull out the hamstring and massage it and try and release it more. 
A great quick tip to do it is to do a little bit of myofascial release. So, you simply sit on the block, level one, level two, level three, we do all levels. From here, you're going to place the pressure as much as you can on the block, add more, like this. And then from here, you're going to extend your leg by pointing and flexing down. You're going to do five repetitions on each leg. If you want to add a little bit more, you can rotate over. Five repetitions at each point. So I'm going to move it down one. Again, I'm going to extend and down. This is going to release off tension points. So when you want to go into deeper poses, over splits, splits, or even a hamstring stretch without the hamstring impinging it, this is going to make sure that you have got all those little niggles out before you start. So try these few little tips to help you get deeper into your splits and hamstrings, avoid nerve tension or release nerve tension, release the tight niggles and all those things that may be impacting your flexibility. Have a great day. Let me know in the comments below how this helped you and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell or comment below and let me know what tutorial you're looking for next. Have a great day.